Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with our Generation 3 heir, Basil! And all of our puppies, Rosetta, Badger, and Argon, as we go ahead and finally get a moment to close our eyes and sleep. Basil has done such an amazing job, you guys. He actually managed to find another moose calf last time, which we did bring back to the pups so that now there's plenty of food for them to be able to eat. I'm sure that there is enough to feed them that this will easily get them over the 20 pounds that we are actually waiting for them to grow to so that we can go ahead and fulfill the last days of Basil's legacy. I'm actually really excited about that. Let's check on, oh, ooh. Oh dear, we're gonna have to go south today to strengthen up some of our territory, it looks like. And look at that, Badger is almost to 19 pounds. He is right there. I'm sure that after he eats a little bit and has a chance to go ahead and rest, he is probably going to really start getting right up against 20 pounds. So we really are kind of getting to the end of Basil's legacy. And I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. How do you guys feel about that? Because every time there's like a moment while we're raising the puppies where I'm sure that any parent probably feels like, wow, this is going kind of slow. Ah, oh, it takes a while to do things. And then all of a sudden it just erupts into, they grow up so fast. And with their growth also comes the truth that that means that our time with Basil and Catalina is coming to an end too. Heck. I don't really know how I feel about that. Like, there, I have a lot of emotions about this. Ah, uh, all right, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to get some more sleep too. And then be fully ready to go down south as Badger and Rosetta play with each other and defend some of our territory. So when we wake up, we're gonna go south, work on taking care of our territory work on maybe grabbing something to eat along the way because basil still loves to have his stomach stay nice and full and then really the rest of it is just waiting for the pups to be super big oh listen to catalina howl at the moon letting their appetites kind of catch up with them and then once we manage that like okay catalina's getting a little snack off of some of the moose calves we've got and then once they manage to go ahead and grow, we'll be done. <gasps> Look at that, Badger is 19 pounds now. We might have a chance to get him really full up on 22 pounds and get another bonus point, even if, if Aragon kind of is trailing behind a little bit. So we might have a chance at that. All right, time to go ahead and get moving. Come on, kids. Okay, come on, kids. Rosetta, Badger, Catalina, do you see? <gasps> Oh, Rosetta! Rosetta just got sideswiped! Oh my gosh, Rosetta! She literally dove! She literally dove just in time into this patch of grass! Oh my gosh! The grouper was gonna eat her! Rosetta! What the heck? Good job! I'm so proud of you! That came way too close! Way too freaking close! Okay, jeez! Oh my gosh, all right, we'll go a little bit south and start working on territory expansion now. In fact, let me come up this way a little bit and we're actually going to do a nice scenic picture with this moon because this is stunningly beautiful. All right, Basil, you, the tree's in the way, Basil. Let's come this way. No, the cloud! Ugh, all right. I'm sure we'll be able to get a beautiful shot of the moon later. But jeez! I'm telling you guys, and I've been telling you guys, Rosetta is a survivor. She is scrappy. She is quite the survivor and determined to be able to make it. I mean, to the point where she went ahead and she actually got herself like out of the way of a cougar attack. Literally, probably with it nicking her tail. Oh, that was very scary. All right, well, let's keep moving. We'll also keep our nose up in the air for any of the moose that happen to be wandering by, but I think they tend to wander around more during the daytime rather than at night. It seems like the grizzlies are out in force. Oh, hey, a rabbit. Empty, empty calories, empty air. Is Rosa or no, Catalina's full. I was hunting it for her, but if she's full, we'll go ahead and just have a bit of a snack. Not that Basil's going to be excited about eating a rabbit. He never is. Oh, oh hey, a den! Huh, we actually knew about that den too. All right. But we're gonna work on really establishing our territory 
in all directions because the more territory spots that Basil has taken over with Catalina for the Moon Pack, then the more fame points the Moon Pack will have at the end. And the end is coming so soon. I just really can't believe that. All right, anything? Oh, what's this? <gasps> Female dispersal wolves! Whoa, 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 hang on here. <gasps> 30 minutes ago? What do they think they're doing in our territory? Like, this is absolutely not okay. Oh, there they are! Yeah, no, once upon a time, Basil might have tried to go ahead. Oh! Catalina is in on this too! Level Peak 81 female? Oh my gosh, their pack must be huge. Once upon a time, Basil would have just tried to chase them away, but now... Man, Catalina is getting in on it too? This is a really strong wolf, but let's make sure we chase her out of here. I think she's actually a lot stronger than the Prospect Peak female we fought. Yeah, no, you're not allowed here. What on earth made you think that you could come here? If you manage to slip out of the way, where'd the other one go? There's the other one. All right, you two, are you headed further into my territory? That is really dumb. Trying to, like, there we go. Really dumb, you really should get out of here. Catalina is ready to attack too. All right, I don't think Basil's bloodthirsty. There we go, and he did just stand there while I was trying to get him to fight. Oh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and let go of this female in just a minute. But I'm gonna give Basil a chance to really leave an impression and possibly a few scars. We'll catch our breath for just a moment. Now she's headed the right way. Get out of our territory! You're running towards our puppies! Literally go anywhere other than north and you'd be fine. That's right, go that way. And if you turn around again, I'm gonna earn another freaking infamy point. What did I just say? Man, she's from a huge pack. If she's like the 81st female. Oh geez, Basil, are you gonna get another infamy point? It's not exactly what I wanted for you tonight. I really didn't. Thinking about how mouse just don't come back this way. What'd I just say? Don't come back this way. Are you nuts? She literally ran right at us. Okay, well, I guess we're getting another infamy point, guys. Again, not what I wanted, but this female is going the wrong direction most of the time towards our pups. It's dark at night. She trespassed. Is Catalina in on this too? And I mean, we need the infamy points to be able to go ahead and make up for having lost mouse. Oh. Well. I think Catalina doesn't really see the point in it if it's not one of the local packs, but it does send a message. And there we go. Not really what I wanted for Basil. Going a little bit darker than intended, to say the least. But it does leave quite the message. And there's the other wolf. It does leave quite the message. All right, well, we'll make sure the other wolf gets out of here too. I don't really want to kill two wolves tonight. That's not really, that's not really where I'm at with this. But, I mean, we do have territory over here to strengthen. So we'll just make sure to keep an eye on her and make sure that she continues to go on get out of where she is uh, supposed to be. There we go. So she's headed off. Okay. Moving more towards the south again. Okay. Well, that's not really what I planned on doing with my day. For sure. Let's make sure she's moving out properly and not looping back. Yeah, she's moving out properly. Good. All right. So now that she's getting out of here, 
And the sun is rising. I guess we're gonna strengthen up territory over on this side after all. Maybe still some Prospect Peak territory. Wow. That really was not what I was expecting to do with our day. Um, truly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little conflicted. I smell a moose. What is this? Ah, bulk. Okay, don't wanna mess with him. We actually probably shouldn't mess with any moose either, even though that's very tempting, because we have uh, taken a few hits to say the very least. Maybe lost a two through two in that battle, but we did add to Basil's legacy in a very permanent way. Not that that's always, at least that's not how I wished we could have done it. Ah, well. But all right, let's carry on friends and we're gonna move down south and strengthen up some territory spots. Maybe try to steal a spot or two and let our pups go ahead and rest up and hopefully put on the weight that they need in order to leave the summer hunting ground. I am shocked. I am stunned that Rosetta actually managed to survive that cougar attack. It really was like one bite away from losing another one of our pups, which I don't even know what that would have done to Basil. So maybe he was actually channeling his anxiety about the fact we had a cougar attack at the summer hunting ground. I could actually see that being the reason that he ended up going so tough and rough on the intruders. Whew. And now, wow, he really is reminding me more and more of his mother Parsley. Battle scarred, willing to go the distance if it means protecting his pups really putting his all into everything. I'm really impressed by that. All right, let's wiggle over here. Almost there. All right, anybody around here? No. All right, and then we're gonna actually move to the east and we're gonna try to claim a little bit of the Prospect Peak territory. So that again, we can have Basil's legacy kind of cemented into the distance. Oh, does that involve having to cross the river? He's not really a fan of river crossings, but this is kind of like the arc of his old age where he's trying to prepare himself for the future. All right. And then let's see, yeah, just a little bit more. So do I want to claim that Prospect Peak territory? Probably not actually, I'd rather like claim it up along the river. So we'll follow the river and maybe, maybe we'll reclaim our old den so that we can go ahead and say that we're securing it for our pups. That makes so much sense. So all right, let's follow the river for a little while and then we'll see what we happen to find along it because it makes sense to me that Basil might be spending a little bit of time just reviewing the layout of the world and what's here so that he can get ready to share that knowledge with his pups. All right. And then, yep, that's the river. So we're not gonna bother crossing it and we'll just follow it and then claim all the territory that comes our way and hopefully not face retaliation for the fact that we did take out one of the Prospect Peak females a little bit ago. But whew, I mean, on the plus side, like I hesitantly call it the plus side, Basil is actually developing that legacy. So there is that. All right, a little bit more. We're in a stranger wolf territory. So we're actually doing a bunny hunt might help us out. And then we'll go find their scent to go ahead and erase. There we go. And look at Catalina. Man, she's not even wounded after that big old fight. Okay, however, we might get wounded after that big old fight. Time to run. Is this what you call karma? I'm pretty sure this is what you would call karma. <laughs> All right, let's carry on going north. We're gonna go on, get out of here. And then we're gonna climb up here and howl at them. Defeated this time, friends, but we'll still probably be able to snag a little of the territory next time. All right, there we go. This might be Basil's last shot to go ahead and claim new territory too, so we'll have to keep an open mind about it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. I really didn't see like the cougar coming. I'm actually a little disheartened to have allowed Basil to indulge in such such darker ways to go ahead and strengthen up. And th those Prospect Peak wolves are howling so hard to let us know they claim this area. Oh my gosh. But I am a little disheartened 
just a bit to see a darker side come out in Basil, but he's just doing his best to try to protect his pups. And if you guys could, do please leave him a like. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.